Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fun match from World of Warships here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at a ranked match where I play everyone's favorite class of ships, the carrier. Because right now in the ranked matches, you can even play the submarines. And I have already made a video on this because when the submarines were initially launched, the ranked matches were not yet allowed. And currently you are able to play the sixth tier in ranked matches. And so you are able to take out lots of ships. And I had some matches where I did not see any uh submarines where i did not see any carriers here what i like to do is usually try to force the other player to drop the enemy squadron it tends to tell me what the player might be up to and here i was able to see that he took the bait and therefore wasted the squadron what i like to use the squadrons for instead is to spot the enemy or try to drop them down on top of the enemy destroyers therefore letting the friendlies know what the enemy is up to so here when we fly up from behind the island we actually find majority of the enemy flotilla so there's three battleships and the enemy carrier so what i do here is fly a bit further away from the enemy fuso and drop down the fighters so that our friends can see where the enemy is going so it looks like they're gonna focus their attention towards the a and b point i have not yet found the enemy destroyer or the submarine but uh yeah unfortunately ever since the major rework for the carriers i do not play them at all like right now i even play more destroyers than i play carriers and i usually like to play carriers because carrier is a really difficult type of class to do and to perform well because as you can see thanks to the intel majority of our team is trying to push towards the a and b point thanks to me spotting the enemies but it looks like the enemy carrier is trying to focus their attention on just dealing damage so here i am actually pre-dropping and trying to preserve as many fighters or bombers or whatever squadrons i have for later stages in the matches some players still tend to do this tactic i tend to do it quite a lot because it helps out especially in later games and here i see that the enemy the carrier has done something really stupid you should never try to face up against an island because you don't have like proper controls over the movement of the ship so this way he can only back up and even with the horrible horrible aim of what the rocket squadrons right now do i'm able to get eight hits and one citadel so that means he is taking down a bunch of hp and we're trying to switch up the game and see if we can provide some further support the c point has been contested a point is being held by our friendlies which means the b is right now where the battle might happen looks like enemy carriers trying to go against our submarine and actually the funniest thing is that if the submarine is at the sonar depth if you actually equip a bomber squadron the bombs can still hit the submarine if it however goes deeper you will not be able to do so so what i see here is that the enemy destroyer is still on the sea point so what i do is drop down the fighter squadron and i'm hoping that once the normand uh, pops up from behind the island it would start shooting at it but because it might take forever what i try to do here is what i have to do now lately if i play carriers and that is try to hunt down the destroyers with the torpedo squadrons because if you try to do this with the bomber squadrons it's impossible and the rocket squadrons especially if you play for example the german 
type of carriers it's impossible to do anything with the rocket squadrons because you have the ep rockets equipped so here i see him slowing down so i'm dropping another set of torpedoes and the torpedoes can have really bad effect as you can see even here i was able to shut off his engine so i'm trying to find him behind the island the enemy fighters are on top of me so i'm launching the torpedo here the view somehow gets underwater not really sure if it happened because the game was looking for a submarine but thankfully it's not on top of me so we are taking the bomber squadron and we are gonna try to provide some further support it looks like the enemy is trying to focus the Devonshire, which is really weird because I try to not focus cruisers. Cruisers tend to have one of the best AA, so it's better for you to try and focus either the destroyers or the battleships. And so what I'm trying to do here is try to find the next target or try to tell my team who is where but it looks like the enemy is pushed away from here so what i try to do is a bit reckless but i'm trying to focus the attention and put some pressure down onto the enemy carrier so i'm taking the bomber squadron it looks like enemy norman is coming up from behind the island opening up with the aa now the enemy fighters are behind me in front of me and what i try to do is launch at least one drop on the enemy carrier and this helps out a lot because the more we take away from the enemy carrier the better the chances our team can survive as the enemy planes are not harassing them so we see that the ranger is still trying to push against the devonshire if i would be him i would probably try to focus my support on the uh, fuso who is trying to contest the a point because it looks like our uh us submarine is trying to go there and interrupt that process so this is why i'm trying to stick to the sea point because i see that the majority of the enemy forces are currently located over here there's somewhere the enemy u-boat so i spot him this tells the devonshire that there is the submarine so he's gonna try to do something about him and help me out and what i do here is try to pick the next target i see that i will not have a proper shot at the cruiser or the battleship so what i try to do is go against the enemy carrier and i don't know what the heck happened here but he has only a tiny bit of hp left maybe the fire or something from those bombs who knows but i line up a shot launch the torps and I take out a crucial piece of enemy team, which is the enemy carrier. So this helps out our team because they are not going to be harassed. They can better contest a point. And what I see here that we have our friendly asking for some help, maybe even on the B point. We have at least three or four ships which are around the C point and two enemy Fusos that are trying to contest the A point. But I also see that we have two of our friendly battleships on the A point. So what I'm going to try to do here is provide the support for the Devonshire and try to harass this little bugger in the submarine in order to get rid of him. I unfortunately won't be able to hit the enemy cruiser but our destroyer yellowed into him and actually acquired a double strike so good for him i guess so what i tried to do is set up a fire on the enemy baguette thrower but i am unsuccessful like i said really not sure how to use right now the rocket squadrons which is a huge shame because they tend to do a massive amount of damage or can at least set up fires and so if the enemy uses the uh, repair party or the extinguisher then if you manage to hit them again you can light them up again and cause additional damage just because lots of players tend to prematurely drop the extinguisher so what i'm trying to do here is try to take a more appropriate squadron to provide the support i'm not really sure where the enemy submarine is right now the devonshire is still alive and is going to be one of the main reasons why this match is going to be as fun as is so i'm trying to locate the enemy submarine i usually if i play the ranked matches i tend to stick 
to the periscope depth because the ship is this deep right now even if i launch the torpedoes he's not taking any damage but usually if you tend to submerge yourself you might be draining your batteries the the mechanics of how the submarines right now work it's not really well explained but here at this depth at the periscope depth or if he goes to the surface if i align the shot properly and i drop those torpedoes and he looks like he is turning the right way i managed to land two torpedoes and take out like one third of his health so awesome thing and here we see that the enemy is trying to capture the b point so what i'm trying to do here is get the defender stickers or what you call them in order to slow down the contest so I'm dropping the torpedoes, I managed to land one, it looks like the Devonshire was actually able to prevent the contesting. So I take out the torpedo squadron, and I'm trying to move my ship towards the A point behind the islands, so that my squadrons do not have to fly so far in order to reach a target, or in order to be able to protect some of these points which are being contested because currently the enemy is trying to go for the second point they are catching up to us with points so it's switching up now they have quite the advantage because we have lost a ship because that's what happens if you go two on one in battleships but the devonshire is able to keep on harassing the fuso and i'm able to therefore align the squadron and from behind the island try to take aim drop those torpedoes and get my second kill here and we also know that the enemy u-boat is actually on the b point so he's gonna try to contest it and here my goal was to go against the other fuso and try to stop the contest of the a point because now unfortunately of course the enemy is having two points so their score is gonna increase more faster here the fuso is expertly able to slide right between the two torps but the next run is not so successful usually what i do if i'm in a battleship and carrier is harassing me i try to turn into the torpedo squadrons therefore if the torpedoes are in water they might not be able to trigger and it looks like one of the torpedoes might have hit the magazine because i got a devastating strike so we might have a detonation on our hands and that is why we got an easier kill but here the problem is it's two versus two enemy has one normand and one submarine and we have devonshire hiding behind the islands and me closing in towards the a point i don't know where the enemy submarine is which is dangerous and because i'm slowly moving in what might happen is i become detected so because i see that the submarine is on the surface try to do another successful run and i completely miss so maybe here having the uk carriers with the bomber squadron dropping the many many he bombs would be more efficient but even at the periscope depth if i would be able to successfully land a bomb we would get a hit but he went too deep and so that was most unfortunate so with the last remaining squadron i let it return to our ship and I try to focus my attention on the enemy battleship because if we do so, our cruiser is able to get from behind the island and contest the sea point. So I need to free up the sea point and therefore help my teammate in order for us to catch up because you are able to see that in the last couple of minutes, the game has shifted quite heavily and now the enemy has quite the point advantage so i'm trying to turn around trying to launch the torpedoes it looks like the enemy norman wasn't turning fast enough so he took one torpedo and here i'm trying to angle the shot properly but unfortunately i'm well aware one of these is simply not going to land 
So I'm trying to turn, trying to turn, trying to land torpedoes. Devonshire is helping out as well. He's turning around in order to help contest the C point. So he is gonna still try to participate and win this for us. We are now taking out the bomber squadron in order to deal additional damage to the enemy battleship. So here I'm going, I'm going, and I'm landing the torpedoes, or the bombs actually, and in the meantime, the enemy U-boat is actually close enough, Devonshire was able to get the kill, and so right now I'm in the same sticky situation as the enemy carrier was a bunch of moments ago. So I'm unable to move forward. Usually I try to be by my side to the island so I can either back up or go forward in order to run away. So here we are in a problematic situation. The submarine can just sit on its spot and keep launching torpedoes, but looks like he is trying to turn around in order to launch the rear torpedo at me. And because he is emerging himself, I'm assuming he was low on battery. My secondaries are able to open up. I'm able to land a bunch of hits here, almost with the rockets. One was able to penetrate. He is almost about to kill me. I'm quite sure if he turns around, he's launching those four torpedoes. If he would be in the tier six, US sub, I would be totally screwed because the US submarine has two torpedoes at the rear, so those would have most likely killed me. And here is the funniest thing. I'm about to get killed. The enemy submarine is emerging itself. Devonshire is shooting. I'm launching torpedoes with the worst class of fighter squadron, and I get the last kill and I managed to get us the victory at the last possible second because otherwise we were falling behind with the points we would have lose and so we were able to get a victory I was able to get four kills I was able to land a bunch of rockets but most of them of course did bounce around but this was a really really fun ranked match usually they tend to be a bit more one-sided if one team tends to screw up more or one team has a bunch of players from the same squad and they have like team chat on it's impossible to go against that if you're with a bunch of strangers but this was a really fun match and because i was second the away from dying and potentially losing it for our team but i was able to get that fourth kill i have decided what the hell let's show the match and see what you guys think so let me know if you have participated in the ranked matches what was your rank how did you do uh, is it still going on are you enjoying the event are you enjoying the never-ending onslaught of microtransaction bonanzas which wargaming is pushing on top of us and for more world of worship content like this check out the playlist at the video's description or at the end of the video and for more fun videos like this check out the channel and make sure to subscribe as i publish videos on a weekly basis, so you will have always something fun to watch as i do a variety of things here on the channel now I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now.